Oh, hello everyone. Uh, my name's Bill. This will be my uh, first upload. Now I gotta throw a uh, shout out to uh, Buck and Billy Ray on this one. You know, this was kind of my imitation of, uh, you know, his style. I've I've watched a few other people too, but uh, I found this old beat up double bit here, and you know, got a new handle for her. And, you know, scraped all that lacquer off right there and pointing out on the head there. And, has a real tight fit didn't get a real good angle but it peeled all the way around took my time with it wanted to get them uh, fancy round wedges bucking has but couldn't find them so I got a couple wedges in there she's seated real good and tight you know and one one side of this double bits a little more beat up than the other and I'll show that in a minute on the back of the handle I marked my sides there and you'll see some marks on the side I'll explain that here in just a second but uh, this thing works pretty good here, you know, right there. See, I marked the one side on the or one that's not quite as beat up. So if I might hit the ground, I know which side to spin or two. And right there is my firewood links. And, you know, I got two of them because, you know, that's about a foot long. That's what I cut my firewood. But when I'm cutting these big four or five, sometimes even six foot diameter, uh, great big old growth trees, sometimes you drift a little bit. And, you know, I'm not going to... You know, I'm not a professional, and I'm not going to spend a, a crazy amount of time. It's firewood, so if over the course of four feet it drifts an inch, I don't care. But I want it to fit in my stove, so that's what that's for. And, you know, I got a pie there. This one here that came off one the Douglas firs. You know, four foot diameter, a little better. Who knows where this exact pie came out of the tree? Uh, I cut about six cord out of that tree but you know it was there towards the end it was about four and a half on one direction and you know five 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 and a quarter the other but this double bit makes quick work here it pops it right apart you know just touch a little stringy on the back side there which right in between the uh, sap ring and the heartwood and see right there it has a little pocket of some dry rod it was this is up getting up near the butt but that double bit just slices right through that and you can see that just smack right through it without an issue and, you know I always used to split with single bit split malls and stuff and it's taken a little bit of technique to figure it out with the uh, double bit but I tell you what most of the time that's the way to go I usually have a mall in too in case I need a pound of metal wedge in but like this piece right here it's it's gnarly and twisted and that's a hard hard splitting you know your maul bounce off it single bit just bounce off it but this little double bit just right through it you know it's uh trying to work out that uh technique i've seen buck and do with the flick but i'll get there eventually but you know you make quick work of it you know uh, always kind of enjoyed cutting firewood I'm actually just now getting back into just sold the first couple loads I've sold in a long time but you know I figure it's uh, you know good thing to do you know get a little extra exercise my current line of work doesn't give me a whole lot of exercise so I'm enjoying the the extra exercise and you know I cut quite a bit anyhow this is this will be my uh, wood for next year you know just getting her going this is the old old pickup I used to haul it just extended cab short box but I added uh, two sets of overloads one front one rear I actually got a two inch lift block game get a little height too when you're bending them over pump them uh, tires up to you know 50 60 psi they're load rated E so they'll take a pretty good load and box her out and you know I got three different piles here the First pile I was splitting out of that's that's some stuff I sold that pile's getting a little low but you know just over the last couple of days I'd sold three cords out of that pile a lot of this is out of a tree I had taken out out by my shop here and it was a pretty big diameter that would be my wood pile there and the uh, one right right there that's uh, my parents wood you know I helped them get theirs in they they helped me when we're out cutting you know we got a pretty good system worked out you know they they do what they can they they help load and, and unload and do most of that task while I do the cutting and the splitting and you know uh, this is my woodshed I'm burning out of this year we've we've taken a bit out but these rows are, are a lot bigger than you might think you know that front row 
we took a little bit off of it and then set the limbs down there. I sold a friend of mine a cord of wood here. You know, this stuff's real dry, probably cut 18 months ago or so. And we took just a little off that front row and then about half of the next two. And that was a uh, solid cord of wood there. You know, this was all all dug fur in here. You know, a lot of those limbs I got off uh, one other tree I had taken out here. They were just uh, rough shape. First tree I had taken out had only had limbs on one side of it and you know it was about 120 feet tall the other one was about 140 close to four foot on the butt you know so it's getting towards the time of the year I'll get this all caught up here pretty soon and you know get the yard all cleaned up for the kids you know and got a few different projects lined out there and you know there's my parents woodshed over there we'll we'll see if the gates unlocked here and take a walk over and show you what they got set up so yeah we'll, we'll walk up here and check her out you know makes her makes her nice and easy with them next door you know we can just drag stuff back and forth whatever we need to do that's an old fire pit there I built back in high school uh, metal shop yeah so See, they got got a couple piles here. Each one of them piles, probably. Well, there's just short of two cords sitting on the ground there. Probably one and three quarter or so. Yeah, you know, we we bring her home like this and process her down. Just get her small enough you can load it up. You can see they got two sides here. Each side of this hold uh, over uh, over years worth of wood in there. You, you know, you never know how bad your winter's going to be up here, but. You know, if it's a bad winter, one side still still hold more than they need. And you know, they got hydraulic log splitter over here. That that thing works pretty good. You know, hydraulic a little bit slow. 26 ton uh, yard machine, but uh, you know they can they can pump her right through there. Definitely works really good for them. And honestly, I use it quite a bit too. You know, if it's real easy splitting, I'll pop her apart with a old double bit. But you know, you can kind of sit down and get a system rolling with that and get through there and don't see any point if you got wood that's hard to split while you go beat at it with an axe all day long why not just pop it apart with that you know you get it get it done you know it's not like it's a high production facility or nothing like that I'm just getting to you know to putting wood in for two houses and starting to sell a little bit on the side and, you know but still there's always stuff that needs to be done you know so that's that's about all I got for you on this video so we'll see what other kind of stuff I got to come uh, you know I'll walk up here and show you one of the other little projects I did uh, you know my parents had a little garden wagon they moved their wood around with that worked a little bit better than wheelbarrow wheelbarrow started rusting out it had the two big tires on the front of it so I grabbed that and had these two little tires left over just Harbor Freight cheap little tires that bought for some other project and you know got a bunch of square tubing there you can't really see it but it's an old cattle squeeze chute that uh, a friend of mine gave me and you know got the metal there so the only thing I actually had to buy was the uh, rod there the axle shaft and bent that and drilled that and slapped it in there but you know little deal the little lift system there on the front to level them out but it works pretty slick you know it uh, had an afternoon and I don't know, 15 bucks or so into it and you know it'll haul quite a bit of wood and you know it's a lot cheaper than buying a wheelbarrow kind of fun to make you know just kind of cobble her together and do it and you know maybe some of the other stuff I might show you too is when we go out cutting you know sometimes I'll grab some block grab grab some cable you know got a bunch of different blocks and straps and we'll set up a little bit of rigging you know if it's down in the hole we'll we'll pull it up onto the road or even if it's up like this, uh, that pie I was splitting earlier, that log there, it was uh, way, it was up a hill a little ways. It's pretty, pretty steep ground. If you cut around loose, it would just be gone, jump right across the road, had like a 10 foot drop or so down to the road, and a little whoop at the top of it, and you know, dangerous. And plus, it kind of sucks when you cut one off and lose it, and it's pretty hard up there to wrestle one down as it's coming off. You know, that's a big block of wood, so. You know, cut 
10 foot section loose and threw a choker on her and some cable had a block hung up and we jerked her down got hung up and hollered at my dad to hit it and he hit it but when it came loose it jumped and it was about 15 feet in the air and came down on the road and barely skidded to stop before it went off the edge so you know worst case scenario it would have drugged the truck back to the block and most likely it would have just broke the cable no big deal just throw a splice in it and move on you know because uh, I learned before I I pull a block out and I have my block centered in the road so when you're pulling on it it doesn't try and pull you in one ditch or the other and then if something goes catastrophically wrong you might break your rigging but you're not going to jerk your truck over the hill but you know it's just work smart at her you know if it's big old four or five foot diameter log you're trying to pull up the hill I've done that before where you used a set of tongs and just pulled each each block you know it's about five foot diameter on the the last one I did and just pulled one block at a time but you know you don't need very many of them blocks to get a load of wood and work works pretty slick you know you just think smart and you know work hard and no sense working harder than you got to